This is a review by Francis Domeno. Dreadful in the Din at Chet's Last Call, Boston, February 6th, 1986. Finally, Dreadful and the Din are ready to make show. They open with a savage and sensibility-gutting version of Sanctuary, followed by We Sell Soul. Dreadful squeezes out the words as though his very next breath could be his last. Billy Ruane lounges near the left bank of speakers, hunches over, and lurches stage front as a gibbering concatenation of unmitigated mania engulfs the spectators. During the same, Dreadful looks on in apprehension as the wildly gyrating and impossibly uninhibited Ruane snatches a beer belonging to Ed Moose Savage, sending the foamy brew splashing wildly about to inimitable Ruane dance rhythms. The liquid seems to hang pendulous, weightless in the air, burning with the wasted and wildly abandoned screams of Dread Fool as the band builds to a gargantuan garage apotheosis, paint-peeling and mind-blistering. From the effulgent, negative universe boogie of put-down, Dread Fool and the Din launch straight away into Believe, it starts out strong and keeps getting stronger, turning into a sound like the roar of some sleepy stone giant who awakens to find that all his kind have passed to dust innumerable eons ago. I'm so tired, is the articulated form of this howl of agonized solitude and defiance. Moose flops about in a seeming frenzy, and Billy Ruane, covered with sweat, looks tiny, pale, and fragile, and is soaked in beer. The pace of the song briefly slows, then veers back to boulder-bursting frenzy, which seems capable of cracking the earth itself asunder like the shell of a giant stone egg taunted between galactic pincers. Should Have Known Better comes as an enormous assault volume rage raga, as full of clutter and din as the mad ambience of Chet's acoustics can make it. For alone, Dreadful's burnt voice gutters out from the lambency of earlier diatribes, but nonetheless he shouts, I don't feel like Jesus' son, and convulsively wrenches himself about, seemingly in the grip of some inalterably illogical frenzy, totally divorced from any hint of cognition. During Real Men, the jive, gum-chewing fool delivers a strangely jaunty in the face of a sonic storm crescendo of sloganeering agitprop, rendered indecipherable due to the arrogantly baroque welter of discordant sounds cascading from the band, pouring through lumpen bodies, then bouncing back and forth along the walls. Stooges cover, down in the street, a twisted recital of God knows what is next describable only as snarl-faced, princel-limbed chaos, resolving itself into more chaos still. I Want to Be Your Fool follows. There's a mirror behind the drum set, and you can see Din Wana's head bob and weave, square-shaped over the potato sack bulk of his beefy shoulders. Moose adds a vocal chorus, then begins to slam dance with a nitwit in a Zappa t-shirt, another nitwit wearing a cap with an expandable plastic band, and yet another nitwit sporting a postal service work shirt. I'm not a beast as the encore. Billy Ruane, drunk, slouches near the left speaker bank and seems to be melting. Zappa shirt spits ice cubes at postal clerk shirt, and they perform a brief, unchoreographed brawl. Postal shirt and expando cap retire from the railed-in dance area, leaving Zappa shirt and Moose to shiver and dance in an ever-expanding universe of action and tormented mania, until the climactic Big Bang of Dread Fool in the Din mercifully arrives at long last, bringing with it the void and silence. A silence comparable to the sound of a special god whistle only he can hear.